Hey guys, it's Brian here. So today I have a super super exciting video. I am going to be like doing like a first impressions on the to Tony Molly Molly Tony Molly and Pokemon collab. So basically just these three products. Those are the only ones I got. The day that I did place my order though, they did have an eyeshadow palette and I didn't pick it up, but now that I'm like now that I'm thinking of it, I really should have, because then it could have been even an even more first impression. But yeah, I have these products here now, so I'm just going to try them out and tell you how I feel about the products and everything. So if you guys are interested in this adorableness, keep watching. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be priming my face, because I always prime my face. So I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I haven't used this in so long, it feels so weird. It feels so silicone-y. So... This is what the packaging of the, like, what is it? I don't know what these are called, like a foundation cushion? But this is what the packaging looks like. It's so cute. But it looks like this. And the little cushion is a freaking Pokeball, which is adorable. As you can see, if you, I turn it around, it's black. So it's never been used. This is a full first impression. But I think I'm actually going to conceal my face first, just because I don't know how much coverage this foundation is going to give. And whenever I like, I'm not sure if something's gonna have a lot of coverage, I like to conceal first, that's just me, I don't know. And as you can see, I'm having very problem skin right now, which is so freaking annoying. I have no idea why my skin's so problematic, but it is. So to conceal, I'm just gonna be using the Physician's Formula Gentle Conceal Stick in yellow. And then I'm also just gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10 Light. I don't know why my skin is so problematic. I literally haven't changed my diet or done anything. I've been maybe kind of stressed, but I don't know. But okay. So now I'm just gonna quickly blend this in. And as always, I'm always looking over here because I have a mirror here just to make sure everything's blended nicely. Okay. So now my face is a little bit better, more coverage. I don't look as dead, so we're gonna be going in with it. I'm snapchatting this. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the little Pokeball. Look up the Pokeball. So then you're gonna open it. And then it looks like these. And I'm just peeling this off. So I've actually never used one of these. That being said, I have no idea the coverage. I don't know if I'm using this right. I did want to try this one day when I first got it because I was just so excited. So I tried to see if you could just use um, a normal foundation brush because I didn't want to wreck the cuteness of this. But you can't apparently according to website. So yeah, let's wreck this adorableness. Okay, so we got a little bit. I don't know about this. Actually, wait. I didn't have enough product before. It has a scent. So I find that you don't get a lot of product from it right away. But like, look at that. It's so clean. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like this is very time consuming. I do like this. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about it. So I never said the name of it. I never said the name of this. So the actual name is Pikachu Mini Cover Cushion. So this is basically like a BB cream of foundation in Korean beauty. Very popular. I think it's coming over here a bit more now. Like I think L'Oreal makes one. But so I actually didn't expect this to have a lot of coverage at all. And it doesn't have like a super, super crazy coverage. But it has more than I expected. And I do really like it. There was only two shades for this though. There was like one and two and I picked one just cause I'm so fair. And it actually matches me really well. I, I know like um, people with a, like Asian ethnicity, they do tend to have more yellow tones under their skin while like I have more pink tones. But I don't find this to be like extremely yellow undertones. Like I think it matches me pretty well. I do like how really, really, really natural this looks. Like honestly, can, it's not that noticeable that I'm wearing makeup. Like you can still see the imperfections on my face, but like that, but that's fine with me to be honest. Like I don't mind if some imperfections are on my face. 
The only thing is, this is very like dewy looking. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I have really, really oily skin. So, I don't know if this is gonna turn really, really oily on me. But anyways, let's move on. So the next product I have looks like this, adorable packaging. So this is it. And this is a blush. There's like no English. This is the Tony Molly Pikachu Mini Cushion Blusher in 02 Rose Coil. Coral. So exact same, it has the little Pokeball. Open it the same way. And then it also has the little thing. It hasn't been used. Alright, this is what the product looks like. Hopefully it looks good on me. So I only have a little bit of product, but I don't want too much because it's a blush. They smell really sweet. Kind of like candy. Oh god, I think I put too much on. Ugh. It smells so good. It, it smells like grape soda. Like grape crush. So I really, really, really like this blush. It's so natural looking and so pretty. Oh my god, I really, really like this. And also, this cushion is super clean too after using it, which is awesome. But I really, really like the blush. I don't know if it's picking up as much on the camera, but this looks so natural and like so, ugh, it's so nice. It blends so easy. I like it. So, now the last product I have that is like the Pokemon Tony Moly collection. I bought other Pokemon things, but they're not actual makeup products. But I do plan on doing a haul. I might film it after this, actually, so you guys will see the products. But yeah, the last thing I got is this. It's Purine. Purine. It's Jigglypuff. And it's a peach pack. So basically what this is, um, is a powder. So a setting powder, I, I'd assume. I'm assuming. And also I think this only had two shades as well. And I picked the lightest shade. So this is what the little compact looks like. So cute. And this is what the product inside looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but it is a Jigglypuff. So cute. Oh my god, it makes me not even want to use it. But okay, so I'm just taking a normal powder brush and I am going to just powder my face because I'm very, very weak. So just doing one actually like gets the brush full, so I'm impressed. I don't think this has a scent. So this kind of sets your face, like I'm still a little, 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 slightly bit tacky, so I realistically I could add more, but I don't really want to. But yeah, this is alright, I like it. It seems nice. We'll see if it stops me from looking extremely oily. But now, like that, since that's all the Pokemon products I have, I'm just gonna like quickly speed through doing the rest of my makeup. Cause at first I wasn't even gonna film me doing the rest, but then I kind of like when um YouTubers like film themselves getting ready really, really, really quickly. So I figured why not. So I'm just going in with my All May brow definer. I really badly have to do my eyebrows. They're very bushy right now. This pixie bronzer. I don't really want to contour my face now because I like how natural this looks, so I'm just gonna use a very, very small amount. I debated highlighting, but I am just gonna use a little bit of highlight, so I'm just going in with this also pixie. It's the rose gold blush and highlight duo, and I'm just taking a very, very tiny amount. And this is just because like the foundation is so dewy that like I don't feel the need to extremely highlight. Yeah, I didn't grab an eyeshadow. So since I didn't grab an eyeshadow, I'm actually just going to grab the bronzer again and put a little bit of this in my crease. Just to define my eyes a tiny, tiny bit. Now I'm just using my Makeup Forever mascara like always. Now I'm just taking a Model Co lip liner and I'm just taking a Smashbox lip gloss. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I honestly am really impressed with the makeup products. I've never used Tony Moly makeup products and I honestly just bought them because they were a Pokemon and like when I saw them I was like I need these in my life. But yeah, I actually was really impressed with them. I definitely didn't think I'd like the foundation but I really do. The blush is amazing. And the powder is like, it's powder, like it's pretty good, like it helps with my, it, it set my face, my face doesn't feel tacky or anything. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. Great first impression. I will probably make another order sometime soon because like, I really, really like them. Um, I don't know how long these like last for, like how much product comes in them because they're cushions and I've never used them before. 
but these these were pretty affordable like i feel like i paid like maybe eight dollars or something like that for these i don't know i really really like them though and so ho hopefully like this video interests you it's definitely not something different i haven't seen this pop up on my suggested videos or anything so i don't know if people have tried these products i'm sure they have like they're Pokemon, like how haven't you? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, like and subscribe, comment down below, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you're having a great day or had a great day. Bye guys!